Hey everyone, uh, it's been a long time since I made a video, but today I'm here with my friend Kyle. We've been playing doubles and badminton a lot, uh, but today we're going to play a game of singles and then um, he's going to try to tell me how we can improve. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Let's do it!
So that was longer than I expected. Okay. Yeah, so I think the first game, everything was going out. I was still, like, feeling the court, getting warmed up. Uh, I think the second game, uh, I think I was down until we switched the bird. The bird definitely changed. And the... then, yeah, I think you, you were caught off guard more than me. Yeah. And then I had a long enough lead, was able to, like, hold on to that. I thought the third game was, um, I was, like, always trailing behind, and then we tied at 16-16. Um, in terms of shots that I feel like you got me, uh, it was definitely, um, like, you push to my backhand, and then you're just waiting at the front. Yeah. Or uh, you push to my backcourt forehand, and then you're waiting at the front. Right. And then if I, like, don't clear deep enough, you, you have, like, a lot of options with the drops and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think you are um, not... You're not push. You're not making... You're not forcing your game on me. You are, you are reacting to my game. So if I play slow, you are playing slow. If I am playing fast, you will pick up the speed. So I wasn't going to play fast because I can't play fast. That's not my <laughs> style. Right. But... You, if I give you a half court lift or anything that's not deep enough, you can kill it very easily. You have the angles. You're used to doing the jump, snap, kill. It's easy for you. I cannot get those. So those are, that's why I have to hit really deep all the time. Hmm. But I hit slow. It's not necessarily quick. You don't see me doing a lot of tight clears. It's a lot of just high, deep. Because I want you to think about where to hit. I can react to that because your shots at the back are a little bit slower. You're not... You, you are not... Uh, dictating the game i am which if you play my speed i will beat you <laughs> because i can play slow right and if i don't want to go for it, i won't go for it like even the net shots where i can barely get it like you hit slow i will still run back and get it i can still get it hmm. so i think for you i think uh you have the speed but you, you play you're playing to my speed you can out you can be faster than me way faster maybe they just have you haven't played in a while so i think that I mean, were you normally a fast player to begin with or no? I, I'm usually the one that doesn't set the pace. Okay. And I usually just absorb everything. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think um, you have the shots for it to play fast, but maybe physically you're just not used to doing that. Yeah. I think mentally, too, just um, not having that timing in my mind. So, like, if they lift, I'll just, like, slowly go. Right. Back. I don't have the, the muscle memory to, like, quickly go back, jump, and... Yeah, and I... And I for me, I don't have the, the shot selection for singles, right? I can kick the birdie in. I can do slices. I can do weird shots. But you can do so many weird but, shots. But, I don't, <laughs> but that's, like, I, I'm only able to do that because I can get to the birdie. If, I, if you're hitting fast shots and playing out, Playing out, like speed me, like I, I can't do anything. Like I'm at the mercy of your game. So when you play slow, I can get it pretty easily. So I think, and you were right. Like I, at the end of the game, I wasn't attacking that forehand because I saw you were waiting. You caught up to sixteen all. And you were getting that forehand in the deep. So yeah. then I had to switch. And then I did like a weird serve receiver. I hit right at you. Like I have to change, give you something new to look at, right? Mm. So, because I knew you were reading my shot. Oh, okay, you're catching up. You caught up to 15, 16 all. Okay, I got to change it up. Do something different. You're not used to. So um, have another trick, something up your sleeve. There was also one shot that I picked up on when uh, I served and then you like stepped up and you crossed. And I was like super tight. I was like, all right, I'm going to do that on you. And then the next shot I did on you. Yeah, I don't know why that one seems to be working against you. You serve receive and hit the forehand side. Like, it's getting tight. Like, I usually don't, I haven't done that shot in a minute. And I just oh. do it a couple times again. She's like, oh, it worked. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, overall, I think, I think your single game is not bad. I just, you need, I, I think if you want to win games, you have to dictate the speed. You right. have to. And since you haven't been playing singles and that your pace is genuinely kind of relaxed, I think uh, you either have to be more consistent or hit or end the rally early. You can play chillax if you can finish the birdie quickly. Mm. Otherwise, if you like run down the birdies, I mean, I don't know, you'll have to take a look at the video, but I don't know who won the longer rallies. I think you did, but I won the weird rallies. I think I won the desperate ones, <laughs> the ones you didn't think I could get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rallies. I think for me, uh, I've done a lot of drills yeah. and with drills it's kind of like consistency and the same pace yeah 
so maybe I have to do like more injection of pace drills. And then I, I always have this m image of like the perfect footwork or like the perfect form. Mm -hmm. And then if like something goes off and I'm, I'm late, now I'll just kind of give up mentally and say, okay, I'll, I'll do the next one. I'll reset at the next point. Uh, okay. And so that might be like a mental block. Yeah, I mean, I, I was telling this to Brandon and, and you know, there are people who like, badminton's not perfect, rally's not perfect, footwork's not, like, you can be as perfect as you want to be when you train, but at the end of the day, when you, you have to get the birdie over, you have to get it in. So like, yeah. whatever it takes to get that bird over is what you have to do, even if you're tripping and falling. And you can see it the way I was did the spinning shot. Like I was doing anything I could do to get that bird over, even if it doesn't look good. Yeah. Um, so I think once you play a little more singles, you could be okay. I don't. I don't think the. I think playing playing more singles player games and playing different people will help you. Yeah. And, and then you're physically. I don't think you're tired. I'm not tired. I don't think you're tired. I think that you need to play people who are. I think out of your comfort zone. Right now. All right, so, we're, so what are you going to take from this game then? What are you going to take? What are you going to take from this as a lesson? Uh, okay, well, the obvious one is I need to dictate the pace. Right. I've known this for a while, but I just need to watch my forehand backcourt and just get more comfortable hitting shots, getting to it earlier, and also having better recovery shots from that corner. Because if I can't like clear from that position, then the opponent's always just going to move. Forward yeah, when they hit there. that and I think trying to for you, I think trying to finish the valley when you can. I think you, I think that I have that too. Sometimes too, it's like that um to like want to finish the rally. Sometimes it's not there. Like for me, sometimes I like to rally kind of, and so like sometimes that like oh he's not gonna get that, <laughs> and then he gets it right. So yeah. like just going for that kill shot, I think trying to finish it because sometimes if you know. If you don't do that, then the rally will go on, and then you'll lose that point. And you had an opportunity to just finish it right away. Mm. But overall, I think your net game is really good. Um, but I do think that you need to mix up your backhand a little bit. I, I tend to know where you're going to hit. That's where I come forward. Mm. Um, but I noticed that in doubles, too. The backhand is, like, a little bit, like, not... Yeah, I, I don't think I have the feeling... <laughs> Like, there's no pop. I feel like you can pop it. I think you have it. I just think you're always thinking about it. So, like... Uh, but yeah, overall, I think cool. it's pretty good. All right, well, we know what to work on next know, time. Yeah, I'm excited next time we play. Well, we'll have to see if you can. You should be able to beat me. I don't really feel like <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm. Uh, I think I I just catch people off guard, so I think yeah. that's why. I, I, I think one one good thing about playing you is uh, just your fundamentals are strong. So you have that hold and hit like the hold. Um, I think I need more experience playing players that can hold yeah. yeah i hold a long i can hold for a long time but sometimes like especially in the serve receive i think that's the one i get you the most you serve and i i can hit to that corner quickly and you're always looking behind like Ugh. yeah 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 that one i think is probably the one i do the most like holding a hit there and then you're like behind and all of a sudden i'm already coming forward because i know you can you're not going to clear it yeah so that one i think is the most important if you can get rid of that serve receive and be ready for it then, then, then I'll have to change it up. <laughs> do something different. Use your next trick. Yeah, like use something else. I try something new, you know, throw the kitchen sink at you or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks, Kyle. No problem.